What's up? What's up? Never done one of these before. I don't think I have anyway. <coughs> Just a little update, I guess, you know. It's, uh, what is it? It's Monday. Monday the 15th, I think. Yeah, just, um, yeah, feeling feeling good other than just having terrible taste buds right now. Um, energy seems pretty good today. Doing some work, getting a lot of stuff done for my company and for my, the mortgage business. So we're getting some things rolling, which is, which is exciting. But the thing that's more exciting is I'm done with chemo, which is cool. So now it's just sit and wait and, and watch the uh, numbers go downhill and you know and um which is what they're supposed to do you know now it's now it's uh time for the chemo to really do its work and crash those numbers <coughs> which is um i love you too sis um yeah just crash those numbers and uh and yeah and that's that's it i'm trying to I'm trying to think what, else, what what other exciting stuff is going on not really much um no, just cranking out mortgages in the business. So, again, I got a killer team in the business and uh, got a really slick haircut, too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, we're, we're doing good work in the mortgage business, helping tons of people, which is fun. And it's awesome that I can, that I can still do that from, from this bed because of the team that I have behind me. <coughs> it's incredible. It's incredible for people that are still having faith in what I can do and what my team can do and sending me business too. And I really appreciate that. It means a lot. It says a lot too. But more importantly, I'm here in the hospital and I'm kicking cancer's ass. And that's really the name of the game. That's why I'm, that's why I'm here. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be here, but at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter as long as it, it gets, it gets kicked. That's all that matters. Um, but man, if when water tastes bad to you, you know that your <laughs> your your, <coughs> your taste buds are kind of feeling the feeling the pain a little bit. But and when you know, I mean, I got this uh, got these. I, I can't even like it's everything is gross. It's crazy. Everything is gross. It's unbelievable. But at the end of the day, it's worth it's worth it a hundred percent. Because like I said, I got a great team here at Dana Farber Brigham and Women's. <laughs> excuse me, um, that are, that are here and I've got my faith, one million percent of my faith that all of this work, this setback is, uh, for a good reason in terms of when I get out of here, I'm going to, I'm going to be serving some, some greater good for sure. Um, and I'm excited about that, you know, obviously, uh, killing it, hopefully in the mortgage business still, which is the, the goal but doing much more for a much greater purpose on top of that. And I don't know exactly what that is. Um, could be working a little bit harder for, for charity because um, I know I could always put more effort in for that. You know, um, <coughs> my company actually, um, not my company, but Cross Country Mortgage, just, uh, I don't know if it's official yet, but my branch is going to do a profile donation to Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, which is something that's kind of right up my alley, um, which is a calling that maybe I should, I should go reach back to them. Because when I was sick before, when I got out of that, I, I did a lot of work for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Um, I was the uh, corporate chair for the, for the first march uh, at Bushnell Park. Uh, raised about, I think we raised about $11,000 between myself and couple other people uh well a lot of other people i should say there's a lot of generous donors but um you know my buddy tony down at uh down in north haven he he grabbed all of his members from from the gym and they they raised a bunch of money i mean it, it's uh i don't know i mean obviously dana farber's always going to get the jimmy fund money from the tournament but there's something that i got to do hitting the ground running a little bit more just hit the ground and face to face and get in front of people and uh speak my story and and speak about how i you know whatever it is it doesn't matter however i can ex inspire somebody that's that's the goal and make somebody's day a little bit better you know whatever that may be i mean if somebody hears what i'm going through right now and and realizes well 
my day really isn't that bad. And not to make them compare this to that, but because it's not about that at all. It's about them realizing that, you know, I'm more just to maybe be grateful about what they have because they can learn that, that life, like I said, can change in an instant. And um, it just can. And realize that, you know, the little complaints, the day-to-day issues that we all go through are, uh, you know, they can be, they can be one of those, uh, you know, one of those things that is a lot easier to overcome at some point. But um, but looks like uh, nurse is in here. She's gonna unhook me. Yep. Unhook me. All right. I'm gonna get unhooked, get free, <coughs> maybe take a shower. Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. All right. I'll sign off. Love you guys. <laughs>